Getting custom songs on Beat Saber is easy as hell if you're using PC VR. You essentially download an app called Mod Assistant to your PC, point it at your Beat Saber folder, and it does most of the magic. On Quest, things are a little more complicated, and they keep changing with updates. So rather than give you a blind step-by-step -step guide, we've decided to explain things so that you don't get too lost. Loading custom levels in Beat Saber on Quest requires that you install an app called BMBF which stands for any number of possible permutations on your quest. BMBF basically mods your copy of Beat Saber and installs the extra mods it needs to let you install and download custom tracks to your quest. Will it always work? Now, you need to know that every time Beat Saber gets updated, which is quite frequently, it wreaks havoc on this whole process. So, at the time of making this video, for example, BMBF does not work with the latest version of Beat Saber, which is now up to 1.19.0, and by the time you watch this video, it might be something else altogether. So, how do you tell which version of Beat Saber you have installed? Start the game, and when it loads up, look underneath you. See your footprints? Look at the heel of your right foot. There you go. That's your version number. Which versions does BMBF currently support? At the time of making this, BMBF only supports Beat Saber up to version 1.17.0 and supposedly 1.17.1. Maybe by the time you're watching it's been updated to support higher versions, in which case you'll find out when you go to the BMBF download page at the BMBF stable releases page located at bmbf.dev slash stable. So what do I do if I have an as yet unsupported version of Beat Saber? You downgrade your Beat Saber by going to Beat Saber Quest's downgrade Beat Saber page. What this will do is help you download an official, non-hacked, older build of Beat Saber from the Oculus servers. For this to work, you'll need to be logged on to your Oculus account in your browser. Don't worry, the downgrading page just links to that so it's not compromising your account or anything sneaky like that. It's just letting you download an older install package, which on Quest is called an APK, which stands for Android Package Kit. So how do you install this APK on your Quest? You need to be able to, a new word for you here, maybe sideload to your Quest. And in order to do so, you need two things. An app called SideQuest, which you can get from SideQuest VR for PC. And slightly more tricky, you need to have your Quest in developer mode, which isn't as tricky as it sounds. Basically, you go to dashboard.oculus.com, log on to your Oculus account, tell them you're a developer, come up with any developer name you want, and when you're done with that, you open up your Oculus app on your phone, choose your device, go to settings, and tell your app to put your quest in developer mode. Voila! Done. You're also going to have to download ADB drivers for your quest so that when you plug your quest into your PC using USB, it recognizes it as a device and is able to communicate with it. You'll find links to that below. You'll find all the links below. Once this is done, you can use SideQuest not only to install the older Beat Saber APK you downloaded, but also the latest version of BMBF you got from the BMBF site. And, as an added bonus, you can now use SideQuest to install all kinds of free apps and goodies from the SideQuest site or app itself. But how do you get BMBF on your Quest? To install both Beat Saber and BMBF to your Quest, you open up SideQuest while your Quest is connected to your PC. Make sure you grant your PC permission to access your files, you do this within the headset. If not, the little circle on SideQuest's top left corner will be orange, not green. Once it's green, you drag the files to the SideQuest logo. Lo and behold, it will install them on your Quest. Now what? Well. Now you go into your quest, you'll find a tab called Unknown Sources in your list selector where you choose which titles you're looking at, and you run BMBF. It will copy your Beat Saber package to its own folder, uninstall the official one, mod the copied version, and then install that one. Once that's done, you can download songs from either within your modded version of Beat Saber or, much better for bulk, 
by choosing to sync songs you've bookmarked on Beast Saber, a website full of Beat Saber custom tracks. If you have an account there and you've bookmarked tracks or followed mappers, you give BMBF your username and instruct it to download all the tracks you bookmarked as well as all the tracks from mappers you're following. And that's pretty much it. Enjoy. <laughs> 